That treasure belongs to the Quartermains and the Cassidines. Now I want it back. Well, that may prove to be a little difficult. I'm not asking, Mr. Cody. Samantha and I are not the only players involved. Now things just got a little more dangerous. There's a, a fence involved? Yeah, I assume that you wanted to unload the treasure. So, so you arranged for an illegal buyer without, without my knowledge? <laughs> now, now I suppose you're about to tell me you plan to turn the proceeds over to me as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm less a uh, small commission <laughs> for my services. Of course, of course. You are a thief and a liar. Now, where's the treasure, Cody? I assume that Samantha has the treasure, which means that she's probably in danger. Yeah. From who? From Ben, the fence. He wants the treasure, too. Go on. He pulled a gun on me. He hit me in the head, okay? And then, and then he took off. Oh. Would this Ben, would he kill for the treasure, I wonder? Yeah, it's, it's possible. Look, I... I just wanted to arrange a simple business transaction and I did not want anyone to get hurt. Then you shouldn't have tried to steal the treasure in the first place or let your daughter steal it from you. Fine, what do you expect me to do about I it I expect now? you to fix this. Find the treasure and return it to me or I'll see to it that you're charged as an accessory to any crime that your fence commits while pursuing my property. You're bluffing. You try me. help keep you warm and then Nicholas. maybe a hot bath you know just just to be safe monica told me that i should Nicholas. 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 come here come here sit down sit down i'm okay really i i know that you're okay that you're that you're safe here on my couch Part of me is still in that damn grotto, afraid that you're dead. Now I could, I could sit here and I could swear that the whole time I didn't think about anything except making you breathe, but I would be a liar because at some point I saw the rest of my life without you. I felt the most incredible hatred towards whoever took you from me. Now. That, that may not be, be rational, but those feelings are so real, and they're still with me. And it, and it may take a long time for them to go away. And they will. I promise. 
But right now, we need to try to stay focused on finding that treasure. Whoever, whoever has it can keep it. What are you talking Emily? about? Someone tried to kill you tonight. Either Cody or, or this Ben guy Cody that he said he tried. Cheat us, but I don't the, 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 that... the point is, the treasure's not worth your life. Well, that's not your decision to make. What do you mean? Nicholas. What do you mean? I love you. I love you. And I understand that you're worried. But that treasure is important to both of our families. And we're going to no. go out there and no, try to find no, it. No, no, it's just money. It's, it's the difference between living here or, or in some apartment or driving a, a, a Jag or, or taking a bus. Maybe I, I would rather fix cars or clean someone else's stalls if it means you're safe. But you won't have to do that, Nicholas. But, but I would. And I will. One risk that I can't take is losing you. I understand what you're saying, Nicholas. Honestly. I'm going to marry you, and you have, you have every right to want to protect me from the outside world. I but I can handle I whatever know, comes up. I know. Up. There's a lot of greedy people who want to get their hands on that treasure. Oh, yeah, Either yeah, one of them can kill you. For a minute. I, about the I would for rather me. forget about it altogether. The problem is that you've been isolated and protected your whole life. By your uncle. He treated you like you were made out of glass, Nicholas. I mean, I, I remember when you got shot in the throat. I had a fight to come in and visit you. I mean, that's probably why, why he bought this place. So I, it's, it's on an island with miles and miles of water between what, you and any possible what, threat. What does my uncle have to do with the Nothing treasure? Nothing at all. But Stefan has a lot to do with how you are and how you think. Stefan loved you and he wanted to keep you safe, right? So he tried to stop you. From taking chances he interfered when when he thought that you couldn't handle something he didn't have faith in you nicholas and i'm just asking you have faith in I do, me i do but i also know you you know you you go charging into places where angels are afraid to go i mean you went to that that grotto tonight without I, I even took thinking a chance i get to do that Nicholas, you know i just survived breast cancer and that there there is no way that that i'm gonna risk my life for no purpose i mean <laughs> I, I refuse to turn into some some cautious little person who who is afraid to do anything for fear of getting hurt. Oh, please, don't ask me to. Sometimes I feel like I spent my whole life looking out of a window. There was a whole world out there that I didn't get to touch or experience because the risk were too great because my life was just too precious I felt like a prisoner I don't ever want to do that to you <laughs> I guess so. Side by side, whether it's dangerous or not. Okay, side by side. <laughs>